What's going on everyone, it's the Print House. I've got a brand new printer. We're gonna be unboxing it. I'm gonna be giving you some technical specifications for it. I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I'm gonna tell you guys if you need to be purchasing this printer right now, stick around. So this is the Soval SVO2. I purchased it on Cyber Monday and I actually do think I got a good deal on this printer. So normally these printers are gonna run you about $349, $350. I purchased it for $192 on AliExpress. I got a couple of AliExpress coupon codes. It was $100 off for Cyber Monday. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Now this printer is gonna print with a build volume of 200 and 80 by 240 by 300 if you're using a single color, if you're using Two colors, dual extruder, using two colors, you're gonna print in 240 by 220 by 300 build volume. Uh, it can print ABS, wood, uh, PET G, it can print uh, TPU. The guys, it's pretty much an Ender 3 that's got two, uh, two extruders on it. So let's jump into the box and see what's inside. So they say that they have a mixing hot end. Now I'm not sure what most dual extruder uh, printers are gonna be calling themselves, if it's the same kind of style or, or what. Uh, but so basically uh, you've got two input uh, filaments, uh, so two extruders, and there's only one hot end, or so there's only one nozzle on this printer. So you will need to print a purge tower if you are wanting to have clean uh, prints with no uh, blending of colors. If you don't care about whether the colors blend or not, then you can go for uh, an add-on that you can purchase from Soval and uh, it'll it's a different hot end. This uh, special hot end is actually going to, I guess, blend the colors and so on. I don't really know. I'm gonna post a picture on the screen right now uh, of what their blending hot end is and what their uh, stock hot end is and you guys can see what it is. Um, but uh, anyway, so getting into the box, you have Inspire Your Imagination. Uh, yes, you got it. Thanks for purchasing the Soval 3D printer. We hope you will be satisfied with both the product and service you receive. As a growing business, we're always looking for ways to improve our product. Your precious advice will be driving force to move forward. Please use the contacts below to give advice. We appreciate your time and effort and thanks for your support. And we uh, need any, and if you need any help, do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, so you also get a, I'm guessing, a nifty book on how to build the printer. It comes mostly assembled. Uh, not quite sure what's in this box. We're gonna see, we've got, okay, so we have a screen, 4.3 inch digital screen here. Uh, and the software that comes on this is, it looks very, very, very similar to what comes on a Creality printer. Now this screen is, this is, this is an all metal housing. This is, I'm sorry, Creality, but this beats you every single time. This has some weight to it. This feels really nice. Uh, I, I do really like this just from a, uh, a first look standpoint. Now we're going to get some, uh, some tools, zip ties, and then uh, some uh, flush cut pliers as you get with your Creality printer. You're going to get a power cable. You get two, not one, we have dual extruder, we get two. Uh, extruder uh, or uh, filament holders, uh, very similar to what you'd get in your standard Creality printer. Uh, what is this? I don't know, a bracket of some sort. Uh, this is this is some kind of a uh, uh, stop switch. I don't know if it's a Z axis or what that is. It's probably your Z axis stop switch. Uh, you're gonna get a cable. This way you can print directly from a computer. You're gonna get uh, some uh, extra parts. This is just an extra spare bag of parts. You get that with your Creality printers as well. Uh, a SD card and a way to plug it into your computer, micro SD card. 
Uh, we have a spatula right here. Now that's all that came in that box. We're gonna get two, uh, what is this? Uh, um, I think these are 100, so 200 grams each. We're gonna get, well, this isn't gonna wanna come out very easily. Oh, geez. We get blue and white, if I can get it out. So two uh, spools of filament. Uh, 100 or sorry 200 grams each that's great Corality only gives you uh one spool 200 grams uh all right we have the printer i do not even know where to start so i mean pre-built uh not as built as some Corality printers but uh you have i don't know what their method of holding this together is, but I mean, it's all, it's, build quality is nice. You're gonna have uh, dual Z axis. You can see here on both sides, dual Z axis uh, screws. So uh, you're gonna be able to get a better calibration. Uh, let me go ahead and put this down. So uh, also you have the ability to attach a BL touch. Uh, now, I don't know if our software on this printer is going to uh, come stock from Soval with the ability to uh, attach the BL touch and you can just toggle it on and off, or if you're going to have to flash the firmware. Either way, I don't think it's going to be very difficult to do. <sighs> All right, the next, so the build plate and, uh, well, let's see if I can get this out. All right, we have our build plate here with a nice cable bundle. Let's see. All right, so I hope this is on camera for you guys. Uh, like I said, this is a 280 by 240 by 300 build plate. If you're gonna go ahead and use both extruders, uh, that's gonna limit you if you choose to use a purge tower. So purge tower is gonna use 40 by 20. So if you use two colors, you're talking uh, 240 by 220 by 300. Um, this looks like a pretty standard uh, Creality bed, uh, glass bed that comes pre-installed on here. Now you are gonna get just regular clamps. I don't know if this is gonna, I guess we're not gonna focus, but you just get regular bag clips. Now these are almost definitely gonna have to be replaced immediately. I have a couple printers with uh, clips like this, it keeps the bed in place. That's about it. It doesn't keep your level very well. Uh, and if you do have an issue and your nozzle hits that clip, it comes right off. The clip does not stay. Uh, this does come a little, oh, this comes a little loose because I just unclipped it. Now, uh, what I am noticing though is this is very obviously not level. Now, uh, I will come in after the fact and I'm gonna give you a close up of what I'm seeing. Uh, this bed, I don't know if it's the glass that they provided or if it is uh, the actual printer. I can do some testing on this glass bed and I can tell you uh, whether the bed itself is warped or whether it is this that is warped. Uh, but this is definitely uh, warped. This is the most warped I have ever uh, had. Now I have had Creality send me new glass beds before uh, because they were slightly warped. This is so warped. Uh, if, if you don't have a BL touch, this is not going to be printable. Uh, so that is a shame. Um, let's see what else we have here. Now, so I just put the glass bed on the table and it does not shake. I'm going to move this for just a second. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this very well, but when I push on these corners, uh, the glass bed is not shaking. Once again, I'll give you a close up of that uh, and you can find that on the screen right now. Okay guys, so I feel compelled to come in and tell you after the fact that uh, I did an auxiliary level on the bed. So I used the bed screws underneath and that alone fixed the problem. Uh, I have never seen a bed 
that had an auxiliary level so bad from the factory that I just had never seen this kind of problem before. So guys, uh, the bed, it is not warped. The glass bed itself is not warped. The heated part of the frame that the bed sits on, it's not warped. The bed is perfectly fine, uh, good to go. Uh, you can just ignore what I said about the bed or the bed uh, frame being warped. <sighs> Guys, I am very, very excited about this printer. I have a ton of content. It's all coming to you. If you guys give me a like and subscribe, we're gonna be doing a ton of dual colored prints. We're possibly gonna do some soluble prints to tell you uh, if water soluble filament or if other chemical soluble filament is worth it. Guys, so much content is coming. Like I said, please give me a like and subscribe, follow, put some comments down below. Tell me what you want to see out of this printer. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.